step one, we're just going to talk a little bit about the device. So this is um, a TC52 AX. You guys are getting, I think, the X. Only difference really is this has Wi-Fi 6 and the other is regular Wi-Fi. Um, and that's pretty much the majority of it. So on the Android, you swipe up, you're going to see all the applications, OK? You're going to see all the Google applications here, too. Google applications like Chrome, Drive, Gmail, Google Maps, blah, blah, blah. OK, part of your configuration, we get rid of all that because you don't need it. However, Vivek, just for your case, you may need it with Sodi. I'm not sure. That's yep. up to them to figure out. Um, you can install, right? You know, how we're doing it is we're installing everything from stage now from a PC. Um, with Sodi, sometimes they will say you can leverage the Play Store for the applications. Um, what we're using in your build is. Um, Enterprise Browser and also Velocity. They're both what's called managed configurations. So if you install it from Sodi, there's actually a page where you can configure the client as well. OK, so or um, if they don't let you configure it, they tell you, OK, you can uninstall like right here, like right base for mm -hmm. velocity or you can install Enterprise Home Screen. Well, or Sodi has their own launcher. Some people still use Enterprise Home Screen with Sodi. Some people don't. I have a lot of customers that just uh, like Enterprise Home Screen, um, but also for uh, Enterprise Browser. Uh, if you send that down from Sodi, you can use this config file. OK, so we'll go into that in, in a minute. Uh, what's just kind of important here is if you hit settings. And you scroll down, you hit about phone. Um, to know what version of Android you're on, you can see it's on Android 11. OK. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, the build number here is important. This is a BSP 11.26.05, and this U4, U04 is the LG version. So if you were to go to our website and go to Enterprise Support, uh, Mobile Devices, Mobile Computers, and you find the TC52AX and X, mm -hmm. and I'm going here to my mobile. So this. BSP, we said it's 11.26.05 and this U04. We see 11.26.05 U05. This was just released, so you're one LG back, but you're pretty up to date or this device, I should say, is pretty up to date. So those are how it corresponds. And if you are considering doing updates on your devices, like, let's say I wanted to update this device okay, to U05. I have two options. Here's a Delta that'll take me from 04 to 05. So you can send this update, this OS update, and it's a, a Delta update um, through SODI to all your devices, all your TC52Xs. Okay, That's just stepping, right? So I can go from 7, I can go from this version to this version, or this version to this version, or I can go this to this to this using deltas. But at some point, if you need to do a big update, right, skip a whole bunch, this is a little over a gig. So you just download this full update, and that could be the OS update. OK. Does that make sense? Yep. OK, so if the devices ship on something down here and you want to go all the way to the most current, then you need to just do an OS update. OK. So that's really, you know, the most important part. There are um, other components you can click around on these menus and do. Every device will come with Stage Now, and that's what I'm using to stage your devices. OK. Um, you can either use Stage Now on the device by just scanning a barcode, or um, you can send Stage Now packages through your MDM if you decide to go that way. Just so you know, um, there's some tools on here. You have RxLogger, 
which is a tool that will you can take packet captures. It'll take pictures of the system. So if you ever need to troubleshoot, this is how you would troubleshoot or you would run this, reproduce your problem, and then you can open a case with Zebra support. You can see your battery monitor, battery manager. You can see the health. You can see how many times it's been charged. There's a little chip in every battery. And uh, so you can see here, my battery health is at 100. Once it gets below 80, which is after about 500 full charges, um, you'll get a notification on the screen that you should change your battery. You can do wireless surveys. So if you ever want to do a site survey in your store, you just enable this and. Uh, well, it gets hooked up. Maybe I'm pressing it too much. Let's see why. Oh, the Wi-Fi is not on. So yeah, no wonder. Um, but you could do a site survey through here, ping tests and, and whatnot, and tells you your IP. Oops, yeah, I did press it too many times. Um, and all sorts of information, okay? Um, yeah, and then, <clears throat> so the other piece is Data Wedge. This manages the scanner. So for your build, we created, uh, a data wedge profile that's tied to velocity here and a data wedge profile that's tied to enterprise browser. OK, so for velocity, we have some specific things in there. And recently we put in what's called pick list mode, so um, you can't really read this database file, but it gets imported into here and under data wedge. Yeah, so up here dots. Yeah, setting. So if you manually imported it, um, it would be through here. So this would be if I need you need to change something, right? On your device, you'd see the two profiles here, velocity and enterprise browser. Mm -hmm. If you if some of the store called up and said, Oh, it's not scanning this. Let's say you got a bunch of guitars in from a country that uses a barcode that's crazy. But it we'd probably have it in here. So you could always go in and you could go to your and you could find out what kind of barcode it is. You could go in here and say scan parameters and or not scan parameters, but decoders. And you probably just have to find that barcode and enable it, right? Just by checking the box, mm -hmm. redo an export. So you'd come here, I change my profile zero. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go to export a profile. And let's say I wanna do profile zero export. It puts it in this directory that's listed down here. Um, and then you just basically, that's what you would change this to, right? So you mm -hmm. export the data wedge and then you, that's the new device. That's the new uh, file you'd send to the device and where it gets sent. We'll go over that in a minute. Okay. So that's really all I wanted to show you on the device. Um, any question? Oh, no, no, sorry. So my PC is talking to this device. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, on our website, we have drivers for <clears throat> Android USB drivers, okay? So I would download one of these, and that's really how it talks to um, the PC. But then I also have, um, what I'm doing right now is a thing called ADB. And ADB is uh, through the, through the, um, through Android's development tools. And if I look at, I use it just for troubleshooting. I use it just to run this mobile, this remote screen for you guys, right? So, but the Android driver, just to talk to your PC is important. Um, and then, uh, but ADB, you can always find out on the internet. Just basically it's download a driver and some DLLs and, and you're uh, off and running. Okay, so we talked about operating system. <clears throat> talked about the Android drivers. Okay. Um, all right. So back to the device. That was that piece. So um, another piece, if I want to transfer files to the device through like Windows Explorer, 
I can swipe down and you know, this little Android system down here where it says charging the device, tap for more options. I'd have to hit file transfer. OK, it's not automatically going to do it for you. But once you hit that. Um, now I can see my devices here. OK, internal storage. I see all my directories. OK. Um, like Farx logger I needed was here. We backed up that file uh, for data wedge. So that's going to be down here within this system. OK, there's the backup I did. So that file you would take off the device and put into whatever your directory is that you're going to be using for managing it. So it would go here, right? Does that make sense? Yep. OK. Um, all the applications get installed here, but with Android 11, their configuration files, config, enterprise, X, home screen XML, um, LW depths, the backups, these, all these files go into different, what's called enterprise storage. Enterprise storage isn't accessible to us, just the device, it's a security mechanism. So we're gonna put it in specific places and then it will get used by these applications, okay? Uh, 